Hi, Tim Munkert here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Vim color scheme without using a plugin manager. Okay, so um, I'm going to bring up my terminal here, and if you see, I go into Vim, and I go and type the command colo. Uh, I have the basic color schemes, uh, which I can change. Um, let's say I go to Peach Puff, and then uh, set term GUI colors. Okay, that gives me that nice pink peach puff uh, theme, but maybe I want something uh, a little bit more modern, different. And part of the fun with Vim is, or coding in general, is having the cool color schemes, right? And what I'm trying to do right now is use Vim, but use it more with the built-in features without installing plugins. Um, so, you know, I want to do that, but I, I don't want to install Vim or use Vim plug. It's a great plugin manager, but I just don't want to have all these plugins. Uh, I just want to use a base Vim, but I want to have it look cool. Okay. So, uh, or look, you know, modern. So, some of you may be like, hey, it, it looks cool already. Okay. But I want some of the modern themes. All right. So anyways, let me show you how to do that. Uh, so, and it's very easy. Uh, so if I list out my files, ls dash uh, space dash a, it'll show me my hidden files here and hidden folders. And what I need for this is to have a hidden folder called dot vim. And I don't initially. So what I'm going to do is just make one by typing mkdir make directory uh, dot vim. Okay. Uh, and then I can cd into dot vim. And inside of that, I want to make a directory called colors. Okay. And so if I list that out, we have colors in dot vim. And the colors just is just colors. It doesn't have to be, it, don't make it dot colors, just colors, okay? So I'm gonna go back out of that and I'm all set up and I'm doing this on the Chromebook, but this will work on uh, any system. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull up my browser and I wanna get some themes, okay? And I'm gonna get those from GitHub repositories, okay? So, to, and I don't need to have uh, Git installed to even do this, all right? So um, what I'm going to do is my first theme, let's do Nord. And so I'll type in Nord and then the space Vim. Uh, and I'm going to get this color scheme that comes up. You've already seen, I've already looked at it. And I'm going to go to colors. And you'll see I have Nord.Vim. Okay, so I want to click on this file. And I want to go and click on the button that says raw. Okay. And so I've got this now. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click save as. Okay. So I want to save it. Now, if I was just going to my files on the Chromebook, you have your downloads. And if you've, you know, turned on the Linux beta, you've got the Linux files. So I would click on the Linux files. And then in the right here, I'd click show hidden files. Okay. From there, I've got to go into my dot bim into dot color or into just colors, not dot colors. And I'm going to, save this nord.vim. Now it, it tries to save it with the nord.vim.txt. I don't want the .txt, so I'm going to delete that. So it's just nord.vim and I'm going to click save. Okay. All right. Uh, so the next theme I want to put in is material. So I'm going to search for material in vim and you see I've already gone there. Uh, and I want to go again to colors, click on material.vim, go to raw, click save as, and I'm going to save it in that same colors folder in the .vim folder. And I'm going to get rid of that .txt. Make sure you do that. Okay. So uh, I've saved that. Next one that I thought was pretty cool that I want to save is a space Vim theme. So I'm going to go here to this GitHub repository and go to colors and space Vim theme. I'm going to click on that and click on raw and click save as. And we'll get rid of the .txt, click Save As, okay. All right, uh, and then um, let's see, one more. Um, let's do Paper Color, Vim, 
Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Click on colors. Click on paper color. Dot vim. I'm going to click on the raw version, then right click, save as. In that same dot vim, uh, in the same colors folder, in the dot vim folder, get, want to get rid of the dot txt at the end, and then save that. So that gives me some cool modern color schemes to play with. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this and we're going to start up Vim. And I'm going to do the command colo and then hit a tab. And you'll see this new theme, paper color, shows up. And uh, you see Nord shows up over here. Material is here. And we can set these new themes. So let's set paper color. So now we have this paper color theme. If I set my background equal to light. Uh, I've got a nice light theme. Maybe I don't want to do that. I can do colo and then a space material. And now I've got the material theme. Um, I can do colo and, you know, tab along here. And maybe I want to do Nord. Okay. And let's set term GUI colors too. And it, yeah, then you really see the theme. Okay. It pops. Uh, I'm using the Terminator terminal emulator. Uh, and then let's go along. Uh, we can also type color scheme. If we go along RS, uh, we should get to the space vim theme. And we can change to that. We could set the background equal to light to you know do the light space vim theme, whatever we want. Now, here's the thing. If I quit out of here and I go back in, that's going to be back to the default theme. So what I need to do to keep that is I need to create a .vimrc file in your main uh, directory. So to do that, I'm just going to type vim and then this little um, like approximately thing. Uh, I shouldn't know the name of the symbol, but then uh, forward slash .vimrc. We go in here. Okay. So one of the things I want to do is I want to have syntax on. Okay. And then let's set term GUI colors, if your terminal emulator supports it, and then the theme we want to do. So let's do Nord. So colo Nord. Okay. Now I'm going to hit uh, escape to go into normal mode and write the file. And I've written the file and I'm going to quit out. And now when I type in Vim, you'll see I have this Nord color scheme. Okay, so you can install a bunch of themes this way. Sometimes you might come into a little bit of issues where you need a dependency, um, but then you have to look into that. But there's a lot. You can just do it this way. It's very easy. And you get some great modern color schemes without using a plugin manager. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. And I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.